Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a package that I got through a Facebook group that is run by Popcorn with Flicks. And I want to say it's called Popcorn with Flicks too, the Facebook group. And it's been a great community to me so far ever since I've joined it. It has um, a bunch of people that love Funko Pops, whether they have been longtime collectors or are just starting because they were inspired by Popcorn with Flicks. And it gives you an opportunity to be able to sell and trade Funko Pops for the ones that you absolutely want. So if I remember correctly, I want to say these are two Disney related Funko Pops. And the person who I traded or bought it from was from Sarah. So I'm really excited to open it. It says fragile all over the box. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> So I, I remember one of the ones I invested in, but I can't remember the other one. But I know for sure I got two. I'm terrible. I need to keep track of all of these. I need to do a better job at <laughs> keeping track of my Funko Pops, especially on Stashpedia. And I know they're missing a bunch of Funko Pops. But I also have like a separate list. Matchy tape is pretty good. Um, but yeah, like if you haven't seen my other video, I accidentally bought two of the same pops but I had revealed them in two separate videos and I was just like great I am so smart right now so she put it in another box um bubble wrap and some paper man she did very very well in wrapping this up for me that's pretty awesome I feel like I'm unboxing a toy USA box because they usually double box their $200 boxes so it is pretty exciting and this is going to be a half mystery box because I cannot for the life of me remember what the other Funko Pop was. So she lovingly put it in um, bubble wrap again and I want to... And there's more boxes within the box. So they're in sorter boxes and there are foam peanuts on the bottom. Man, she did an awesome job. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm not even sure if she's going to even see this video because, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't usually promote my videos and plus like on their Facebook group as a common courtesy, it's, it's not cool to promote your, your videos on there, but I'm definitely going to post a picture and tell her that I received them, um, in the mail. So here is the first one. Yes. This, so this is the one I remember of, of the two that I bought. So there is a glare. And I'm super excited. It is Doug. It's a Hot Topic ex exclusive and he's flocked. And it came in great condition. So here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the back. So I'm, I'm really trying to look for this Doug. The one with the cone. Where he's like wearing the cone of shame. So Up is one of my favorite movies. I want to say that for the most part, a lot of the Disney movies have been favorites of mine um, when it comes to sequels that's a different story um, I did like the sequel to um, Mulan which was really funny anyways so here is Doug he is from the movie Up and you definitely cannot tell that he's blocked right now but usually um, the whole pop would be like this kind of shiny but um, since they're flocked or they're they have like um, fur it makes it look kind of matte or dull. So here's a side view, back view, side view. And I just loved his character, him as a talking dog and just like him helping Carl and Russell and being so into finding Kevin, this exotic bird that his um, owner really wanted him to find for him. So yeah, I'm really, really excited that I have him. And again, I'm going to be trying to look for the version where he's wearing the cone of shame. Because that's like their form of punishment when they're disobedient. And I don't know, he just looked so sad when he was wearing the cone of shame in the movie. And then here is the last pop, which I can't remember for the life of me what it is. So I'm just going to show you guys first. Oh, yeah, now I remember. This is not Disney related. <laughs> Why did I say that both of these pops are Disney related? I'm a terrible human being. So here is Golem. 
and this is a chase version where he's holding a fish so it's really cute because I really love Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry, my Lord of the Rings um, collection slowly but surely. And they are actually in the bottom, bottom <laughs> part of my shelf. And I don't know, he was just such a funny character to me. Even though he was creepy because he was very possessive of wanting the ring that Frodo, Frodo Baggins had. And I just love the scene where like he, he's like trying to catch a fish to eat. And I was, if my memory serves me right, he was actually singing to the fish too. So yeah, um, Golem, when he's mean, because uh, he has two um, personalities if you haven't watched the movie. When he's mean, he's Golem. But when he's like the shy, timid one, the nice one, then he is, he's um, Smeagol. I think I said that right. So yeah, here he is so angry and holding his fish so cute i love his hair it's like, it's like almost not there anymore yeah so such a such a cool pop i'm so excited i don't have that many chases so i'm super glad that i'm able to add him to my collection and both funko pops they came in awesome condition so i'm really really thankful that she took such great care in wrapping these funko pops Funko boxes, Funko Pops within boxes because it was like a box within the box within the box, literally. So yeah, I'm so ex I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be able to have these two cool Funko Pops added to my collection. And I'm really thankful for Popcorn with Flix for creating this awesome Facebook group where we're able to chat with each other. We're able to um, share different Funko Pop related news or even... Um, I think life related news too. So it also gave me an opportunity to just like meet new people and to be able to trade and sell. And yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I have no idea what else I'm saying at this point because I'm so excited. I feel like these last couple of videos I've been at a loss of words because um, I'm, I'm just so excited. I, I don't know. It's just that time of the year. Yay! <laughs> so anyways, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my different social media accounts. They're going to be linked in the description below. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon on my Instagram account, which is not really Funko Pop related in the sorts. It's more arcade and UFO catcher and plushie related, but I also have a sprinkle of Funko Pops and um, fragrant jewels as well as um, some other cool things. I sometimes do drawings on there too. So yeah, I'm about to do a 400 um, follower giveaway because I'm at 392 followers at this point of this time of me filming this. So yeah, make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on that giveaway. And last but not least, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!